Well, good morning, church. And we are looking at the first discussion question from the message this week, which focuses on what's called the Great Commission. It's one of my favorite passages in Scripture. And it simply asks, what do you think is the mission of the church? What does God's Word say it is? Well, the reason we're looking at this passage is because I think it pretty much lays out what the role of every Christian and what the church is in as short a way as possible. So we're in Matthew chapter 28, and I'm going to read verses 16 to 20. It says that the eleven disciples traveled to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. Jesus came near and said to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Now that's definitely a sermon in itself, so I'm going to try and hit the main points I see here. When it comes to what the mission of the church is, you could sum it up by, go and make disciples of all nations. Now what's confusing is we can sit there and go, okay, how do you do that? <laughs> and fortunately, Jesus kind of lays it out in the rest of that passage. He says, first off, by baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The basic version of that we can take away is, it's simply sharing the gospel with people in our lives, helping them come to a knowledge, the basic knowledge of our faith, of what Jesus did on the cross. The fact that even though we're sinners, we messed up, that God made a way for us to have that relationship with Him restored. That Jesus dying on the cross can literally take the sin in our lives and it, it pays the debt. And the penalty for that debt is literally death. But it's already paid for. If you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, we don't have to be slaves to sin anymore. But if that basic truth we're called to share it with people. Not just people that already believe it. We're called to share it with our communities. With It says all nations. That means people all over the place. The church needs to be known for sharing that message everywhere we possibly can. And so first and foremost, we share the gospel. Helping people come to know Him. That The word we use for that in the church is evangelism. Going and sharing the gospel so that people can hear it and respond to it. Now the second part of making disciples is teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. It's studying God's Word. We, the, fancy use, the fancy word we use for that in the church is discipleship. It's, all that means is getting into God's Word and growing in our faith. God's Word makes it clear. We should never come to a point where you just go, yep, this is about as close to God as I'm going to get. I'm just going to stay right here. I feel like I'm, I'm decent, you know? No, the more you get to know God, your natural response should be, your natural thought should be, oh my goodness, I need to know Him more. I, this, this isn't enough. And we need to constantly be studying God's Word and trying to reflect Jesus better. When you first make that decision, when you, you first, that evangelism has happened, you have become a believer, it's not just a sit back and just kind of, okay, now what? No, we, we study God's Word and we learn how to live it out in our lives better. And then we take it and share it with others. Last week, Pastor Brandon talked about sharing our testimony and sharing our faith. We need to practice that. Like that, That's not something that necessarily just comes natural to everybody. But God's Word makes it clear we're called to do it. So we need to practice what that looks like. And ways we do that are studying God's Word, of thinking through how God has impacted our lives. This is the church's mission, to tell others about Jesus and to help people grow closer to Jesus. The ways we do that are we come together and worship. We, we get together in smaller groups and dive into God's Word. We, we encourage each other to be in God's Word and encourage each other in living out our faith because it's not always easy. Like, like Dr. John Jackson talked about, it's hard, especially when culture a lot of times is the opposite of what the Bible says we should do. So my hope and prayer is that you would take this charge to, to all believers, but especially to the church, and that we'd recognize just how important this gospel message is. It needs to be shared by us, and it needs to continue to impact us, helping us grow closer to the Lord every day. We'll see you again Thursday.